Hey everyone, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone, and this is a collaboration with Vikyash. Please do follow him in Snowbreak GG and also on Twitter. There are links actually in the file that I'll be sharing later. But also, guys, please do subscribe if you find this video helpful because this helps my channel a lot. Okay, guys, so the purpose of this video is to give you information for you to decide on how to use. Basically, what we have here are stats used for Marian and stats used for Enya as well. Um, Enya has two variants because there are two different logistics used for her. One is Armana Squad and the other one is going to be Areca Squad. Okay, so again, before I proceed, our opinions and interpretations may vary. So let's just respect each other's opinions, okay? Um, before we proceed again, I'll have a link of this file in the description for you guys to see. But do stick around because there might be things that you might be want to clarify um, during the time that you are browsing this file. Okay, so again, two operatives are involved in this test. Um, Marian and Eni has two variants because of two different logistics, each with possible weapons. And for Eni, there are two, again, logistics tested. So if you take a look at this file, <clears throat> the, you, you go, when you browse at it, you browse at it going down. Let's say, for example, if you are here, in this column for Marian. So you have Lapis Lazul. So everything is under Lapis Lazuli here. So on and so forth. So Opal Prism, Abyssal Nymph, and Abyssal Nymph Tier 2. So all the stats are going down so that you could understand this file. Also, guys, um, these are just um, the numbers and the totals are here. Total buffs extracted from the data above and also the weapon skill down here below um same is going to apply with enya exuvia with areca squad here and another one with our armana squad here so these values guys are crunched and they are provided here for you and basically these were taken from the game itself okay so for the meat of this uh this file we have here case studies um, those um, two operatives, namely Marion Riptide and Enya uh, Exuvia, were actually were actually paired as supports for all of these um, active operatives. So, namely Cherno, Ceres, and Katya. Okay, again, reminder: if you like to browse for each of these operatives here. The information is going down, not across. Okay, Let, let's go with Katya Donning here because uh, she's a new one that we'd like to have more information on. Um, the others, you can actually try to go over them as you go over the file. So this file states, especially for this area here, this area here is going to be damage improvement versus unbuffed damage. Okay, so if you are using Katya, uh, Katya Dawning as your active or a primary op, your support, if you use Marion as support, and if you use buffs only, you don't consider the sub DPS rotation, these are the damage improvements. So base is going to be 100%, and these are the increases with each of these guns as you go down. So again, um, we ask. We also have some data here from Enya as well. So take note: there is an increase as you, you know, of course, you bring better guns. Um, also notably here, buffs plus Marian sub DPS rotation. The numbers are actually higher. But take note, guys. Um, there's a notice here from Vic that um, Katya's crystals don't charge while she's off field. So that is to note because again, um, if you're going to be clicking on the support skill, obviously, uh, Marin Riptide will be coming in, and there's a pause on the recharge. But if you spam that skill, her what do you call this? Her Kraken magazine quickly. It's going to be a small margin that you'll be missing on the recharge. 
So this means that you are potentially losing on DPS using Marion's sub DPS rotation instead of the activity charging up Katya's next crystal detonation. So this is true. This 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 is true. But again, I don't think it's that that big of a drop off. As long as you are used to the skill rotation, I don't think this will be a problem long term. Versus here with Ceres and with Cherno, um, I actually also agree with Vic here um, because again, um, Mario Reptile does not have a strong synergy with both Cherno Enigma and Ceres and they are not really known to spam their skills. They're not going to be effective towards using with series and sure no enigma okay so i hope i explained this part of the file um ready let's go to the last portion here um these are a combination of um the weapons let's say for example under here so marian riptide the weapons here this is going to be your theoretical damage the damage output that uh, theoretically that they can do okay should be it should be taken as reference values uh for comparison and not necessarily a representation of actual damage output okay but as you can see here the difference here um let's just have a one comparison here let's compare marian here and enya so with their t5 lapis lazuli and prismatic igniter so kind of the same when we go with opal prism tier 5 it's 2929 here as well with tribute of rose tier 5 but uh, but as you go to the five star weapon so abyssal nymph tier 1 the damage is damage difference is actually you know increased on enya side and also here as you can see here, Abyssal Nymph Tier 2 and Abyssal Light Tier 2. The, dev, the, 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 the difference of the theoretical damage is actually kind of wider than the previous one. These are meant as a guide as you decide for yourselves on how to use them. There's an official Snowbreak Discord and there's a Snowbreak Containment Zone Gameplay Help um in discord a lot of people there can help you with these numbers so if you have more questions about the file please do um raise them there i'll have the link in the in not in the description the link in the comment section or also a link in the comment in 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 the description guys with that um i'll leave you to it again thank you for vikyas for 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 giving us this information Please do follow him, guys, on Snowbreak GG. It's up here. And Vikyash, uh, Vikyash's um, Twitter is also up here. So please do comment down in the comment section what you think of this file. This is a very data-heavy file. So again, um, you might appreciate it. You might not. But again, the data is available. It's for, for you to use so that you could improve your lineups your skill rotations and all the things you need to do so thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here